Santa never gets me anything during Christmas. Every year is a huge disappointment. When he comes over to my house later to gloat, I'm going to put laxatives in the milk I'm leaving him, but it won't make me feel any better in the long term. Every year is a huge disappointment, and I just have to give up now and hope that Santa will ever get me anything during Christmas. And not to mention, does anybody else realize that Santa is running a cult of elves? And believe me, I know everything I need to know about a cult. I've seen every single Tom Cruise movie. And, and, get out of my room, random homeless guy. I'm trying to film. No, Blake, I'm not a homeless person. I'm Santa Claus. Wow, how completely unexpected given the fact that this is a Christmas video. Well, I'm not a homeless guy. I'm Santa. But if you're not my pet homeless guy, then where did mine go? I let him go. Why? Because he had rabies. So does this kid in my class, Lil Monica. Are you just going to release him into the wild too? Please say yes. No, I'm not allowed to. He's a human. Barely. But look, Blake. I actually came here for a reason. And what's that? Mrs. Claus finally kicked you out? No, she got a restraining order and then ran away with her new boyfriend, Vladimir. There's a difference. Why, you're here to talk to me about me being on the naughty list again? No, I'm here to arrest you for stealing all of my Christmas gifts. I will have you know, Santa, that those elves make those gifts, not you. And I also didn't take any of those gifts. Okay, sure! Wow, sarcasm is not a good look on you. Yeah, that's what Vladimir said when I said, okay, sure, when he told me that being president of Russia was just as important as being Santa Claus. No, but Santa, look. I don't like you because you never give me anything except coal for Christmas. But I am really, really sorry about your gifts, and I really want you to understand that I didn't take a single one. Yeah, like I'm really going to believe you. Last year, you made me play a 10-hour game of hide-and-seek with you just so you could pretend to be me and be my imposter. Fine. You don't believe me? Then check my entire house for gifts. And then once you're done, you will see that I would not bring every single child in the world into our rivalry. Okay, fine. I will search your entire house for the gifts, but once I find them in one minute from now, I will be back here to arrest you. Ten minutes later... Wow. I actually didn't find anything, but I shouldn't be too surprised that not a ton of gifts can fit inside your embarrassingly small house. But they could probably fit inside your stomach. <gasps> How dare you! How dare you! Is that actually something that you didn't realize before? Why are you offended? Well, if it's not you, can you please at least help me find the thief, alright? Look, I know that you hate me, but this would be for every single child in the whole entire world, and nobody knows more about hating me than you. <sighs> Will I finally get a gift from you? <sighs> what do you want? One full season of any show on TV. That's all I want. Fine! I will get you season 14 of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. What? No, I don't want that! That shows the actual reality is as non-existent as my parents' love for me. Fine! We'll talk about another gift for me to get you on the Uber drive over to the North Pole. You have to use an Uber? Don't you have a sleigh? No, I do not. Not only did Mrs. Claus take all of my money during the divorce, she also took my sleigh, so an Uber drive is the only thing I can afford. Wow, that is really sad. One Uber drive later... Well, Blake, welcome back to the North Pole. Seriously? I just drove you all the way to the North Pole and you're not even gonna tip me? And here is my factory where all of my elves work. I'm sure that you remember a lot of them for trying to destroy my career right before Christmas for the past few years. Yep, I see none of them grew over the past year. Yeah, well, neither have you. Ugh, it's the imposter. Oh, Blake, you remember my assistant Melvin, right? Melvin? Who's Melvin? I'm Melvin! Um, Blake, you might be a little bit confused, because last year you actually thought his name was Bobby. Merry Christmas, Santa. As a celebration that another successful year has gone through, our celebratory cookies and milk should be coming soon. <sighs> Bobby, what are you doing here? My name's actually Melvin... Wait. There's only one person in this whole world who keeps calling you Bobby, even though I keep insisting my name's Melvin. You're that imposter again! Alright, look, Bobby, you should probably watch your tone with me, Bobby. My name is not Bobby. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm calling Santa. Santa!
I'm actually right here, Bobby. You should probably get your stupid eyes checked. Actually, you shouldn't, because nobody cares if you go blind, because nobody loves you, because you're Bobby, and everybody hates Bobby. Yes, what is it, Melvin? The imposter's back. Blake! Here's Blake. My name is Santa. See, this weird beard thing proves it. Blake! We both know you're the imposter. Everyone here knows you're the imposter, Blake. Stop trying! Ah! Bobby! You were let off who sold me over to Santa last year! Mm hmm And I have no regrets. Just like I also have no will to live because Santa's been emotionally abusing me ever since I started working here in 2012. Yep, it's my favorite part of the job. Anyways, Blake, come on. I'm gonna give you a tour of the rest of the factory. And Blake, here is my shoebox, just in case I finally snap on one of these life-sucking elves. Santa, what's going on? It's the thief. They're trying to steal the last remaining gifts that we made today. Here, let's go to the spy kit so we can catch them in the act. You have a spy kit? Yes, I have a spy kit. I have it so I can keep tabs on Mrs. Putin. Why do you need to keep tabs on Vladimir Putin's wife? Sorry, you know her as Mrs. Claus, but she already changed her last name, so let's just go to the spy kit. Who are you, thief? Oh, why aren't you turning on? Hi, Santa. <gasps> oh my god! You're the thief! What? No, Blake, it's me, LaMonica. I was just dropping off Santa's midday cookies for him like I do every single Monday. But Blake, you know I would never steal from Santa. Santa, you know this guy? Unfortunately, yes. He caught me leaving a gift under his tree one time eight years ago, and he hasn't left me alone since. Well, is he the thief? No. LaMonica's the most annoying person in the entire world, but he's not a thief. Well, if LaMonica's not the thief, then who is? I am. <gasps> oh my god! Will the office ever be revived? I love all those people. It was an amazing experience. I just don't think that reviving it would be the best idea. Will Mrs. Claus ever reveal her real name? It's best to have secrets. Like what I didn't tell Santa about Vladimir Putin for nine whole years before I finally filed for divorce and got a restraining order against my stupid ex-husband. And will Blake ever get a girlfriend? What's up, guys? It's Blake. And in this week's video, we are playing... And when I say we, I mean me because I'm alone in my videos and alone in life. But in this week's video, I am playing Zombie, and I'm really excited to do that because I don't get to play Zombie very often, and he's one of my favorite characters to play, and... Wait. Guys, sorry. I'm actually getting you a call. Hold on. MOM! LEAVE ME ALONE! I'M TRYING TO FILM! But, to find out the answer to the other two questions, and to find out who the thief is, then watch Christmas Thief Part 2, coming out next Friday. Hey guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching the first part of our two-parted Christmas special. To see the previous video, then watch the Forgotten Hanukkah Gift, and to see last year's Christmas specials, then watch The Santa Scam Part 1 and The Santa Scam Part 2. Thank you guys so much for watching this year's uh, new... Christmas video, and make sure you come back next week for part two. I love you guys. Bye! <sighs> to be continued.